today I wanted to talk about Photo View 360 and some options that you have that you might not be aware about. So when you're creating a rendering, you'll have it all set up here, and then, and then when you're done, you'll have your final render. And you'll see that I have my rendering right here. And you'll have a, and this is what it look like, and most of you would save it here. Let's say though we feel that our rendering is too light. I'd like to darken it a bit, or opposite, I'd like it a bit lighter. You'll see this a lot, especially when you're working with um, stainless steels and aluminum. You might not like the reflection. And I know a lot of users will save this out, open it up in Photoshop, and then start playing with the saturation. Well, as of 2013, SolidWorks will allow you to do this right with inside PhotoView. So under Image Processing, if I hit Advanced Image Processing, I'll have my input levels. I'll be able to control my hue and saturation. You'll see it's going to get darker. Or lighter. We control our small level here. Let's see, I'm popping up the colors more. These lines going around are just letting you know you're in absolute white right here. You can see as I bring it lighter, it'll look better. I'll start to eat the colors as you go. So, if this was my original, I might want to just lighten it up a bit more, just so the metal gives a bit more of a reflective feel. Once I'm done this, I can still always alpha it out so that way we can have our transparent backgrounds if we PNG it. We can add some bloom right at the other level here. We can set our bloom extent so 5%, bloom square point, 100. Just to blur it out a bit more to get more shine to it. So these are just some options in Photo View 360 that you can do without having to go into Photoshop and reapply everything. And once you're happy with it, you just hit save image. It's going to save your image with all your options and you're good to go.